the bond there and I never use it. You can show me in some of my video, or mostly of my video that I'm going to different flight when I reached 10,000 or 11,000 recently that I'm trying to go to uh All right guys, it's another video. Now we start with flying with the um, DIRC. Okay, so we are in the latest um, freeware. Also we are, uh, we are in the fly app 169. So let's see. Okay, let me make sure the drone is in FCC. Yep, it's FCC because why I'm checked because yesterday I came really early here. Okay, right now I'm using the free will, the CPL. I'm using that feeder, so um, shout out to free will. Okay, so yesterday I came here and um, was really early, more early than today. And the last time that I used the DIRC was like almost two months. You know, I've been doing a lot of long distance fly and um, with the uh, RCN1. And I use more the RCN1 because the quality of the video is is better so and also because sometimes with the DJIRC when you reach 8,000 meters they say maximum distance reach and sometimes it like it doesn't the, <laughs> I'm sorry sometimes you they don't let you go more than 8,000 meters so that's why for that two reason I'll be using the the RCN1 but um there's a recent update and you know and also because i want to use the the dirc so right now um so yesterday when i came it was really early i checked uh, everything in, in home updated everything everything looked perfect everything was in fcc right here um, right there when i came here i turned on the the drone they say that it's in fcc when i take off i don't see it but when i take off the drone switch from fcc to ce mode that don't happen to me like like more than two months like or two months i'm using the the rcn one and that it doesn't happen so that told me like the issue is with the DIRC because it doesn't happen to me with the RCN1 for almost two months. So, and the first time that I'm gonna use the DIRC, they give me the, the problem. The same problem they happened to me, you know, the, I'm gonna put right here a little clip. You can see uh, yesterday in like, four, in like 400 meters, 500 meters, I lose two and three bars already nothing the signal was a complete disaster and they took me like i've been here like more than two hours yesterday trying to fix it and doing any tricks that i know for trying to put an fcc i don't be able so i lost the whole morning so i was really frustrated get back really frustrated and um Okay, like now, I'm gonna check it again and make sure, okay, it's an FCC. Good, okay. But it's nothing in front of me. So, right now the signal is good, it's complete. So guys, if you are in a FCC location and you see like you don't have range and in 400 meters or 500 meters, your signal drop a lot really crazy and you don't have much interference check it out maybe it's because the drone is 
um, jumping from FCC to CE. And that could be the problem. You think maybe the, the, there's something with the drone or something and you know, go to transmission right here. Wait, give me a second. Okay, let me just go a little bit up here. Okay. Okay, you just go right here and go to transmission. You see the line, the 90 line? This below one kilometer, that means it's FCC. If the line is completely in one kilometer, that means it's CE. So, okay, right now we're close to 3000. Okay, I forgot to put the compass. Let me put it, okay. They say the compass, they fix it. I've been having trouble with the compass, so. I didn't try this, um, I don't try it right here with the DEIRC. Also the DEIRC, they don't have update. This is the same, the 169. So I think they're gonna update any moment. Okay. Okay, here we go. The drone almost disconnected right there. Okay. Okay. So, gloves. Why now I'm using gloves? I'm gonna tell you why. Because I've been in a location and I've been making a video and there's a lot of little flies like a mosquito but really small and they bite all my hands i was flying and holding the the rc and the little flies was biting me everywhere everywhere in my hands and that day was oh my god you say you know what i'm gonna use the i'm gonna use gloves because They are really, really, really little like like fruit flies. It's like like that kind of really small, but they they bite you like a dragon, man. Okay, so so far for the moment it's looking good. I just fly only one time right here with the DJI um, RC. It was when the Mini Three released. And the signal was really poor, so I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna be flying and doing videos with the DJIRC because um, the last um, the last three weeks I was in a situation and uh, some families like you know somebody in the family was sick. And I just stay in at home and I don't go nowhere. I just go in top of the house and make the distant fly. So I make a bunch of distant fly. Good video is coming, by the way. Break records and break records and break records. So, and um, was raining, also I don't be able to go out uh, basically any day because that issue, but now everything is good. And uh, it's time for the DEIRC, you know? Okay, it's a little windy now. The good thing is I'm facing the wind, so Okay, my plan is trying to reach 9,000 or 10,000 meters. So we're gonna try to make good range with the DJIRC. The most that we can. So we're gonna turn around with at least 55% battery. 
when I got like 55, 57 battery left, so I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna take much risk. I'm gonna take much risk like I did in top of the house because that's different. Right there, I got spot to land. Right here, I can land two in the sand, but this is different, you know. It's not, it's not the same like I uh, landed drone in a baseball park and landed drone in the water. So it's a big difference. Okay. I'm using right now the feeder, the feeder, the CPL. Um, it's all right. I think for, I think uh, a PL4 or PLA, that'd be maybe better here. I'm definitely gotta go up here. Okay, we close to six thousand and a half meters. <clears throat> okay, that was the same spot when my nephew break my record. He reached eight thousand plus meters with the but that was with the RCM1 not with the DEI RC so that's what we're gonna do we wanna start you um start using the DEI RC these RC is basically new I use it maybe seven night times because as soon as I start using it there's a lot of problems more of the the most important problem was the FCCCE, you know. Sometimes, okay, it's disconnected, I think. Yep, it's disconnected. So we're gonna cancel that and we're gonna turn around and keep going a little bit more. Okay, let me just go in up. Okay, the drone already turned around, but the image is not the right one. Here we go now. Okay. Here we go. Okay, guys. Um. Okay, 120, that's the maximum I'm going. Okay, they say signal interference, but there is not, there is no interference. Okay, I'm gonna just still go in a little bit and see if I got image back. Nope. 7,000, I don't know, man. 7,000, okay, right now, I just get a little bit here in the top of this. Let me see if you at least, you know, I can reach 8,000. But right now, you know, I'm, I'm really high, 120. I mean, between the DIRC and the RCN1, Guys, there's a big difference. With the D, with the RCM1, I don't have to be in 120 right now. I can be easily in 60 or 70 meters high. So, if you don't watch my nephew break my record, 8,000 plus, check it out. You're gonna see what I'm talking about. And also, I'm gonna put the at the beginning of the, of the video, I'm gonna put in a little side. I'm gonna, um, what happened yesterday, right here in the same spot, the drone was in CE mode. 
that don't happen to me wow that's one was one of the reasons what why i stopped using the the djrc because sometimes i drive one hour two hours to a nice location and when that's not around the the drone it's in ce mode and all the time that i see was because i'll be using the djrc at the moment that, that I start using the RCN one, that it doesn't happen anymore. Until yesterday, that I start using the DEI RC. Okay, so 55% battery. We definitely we close. I just say I'm gonna reach nine or ten thousand. But we don't gonna risk much like I did in other spot. We probably gonna try to reach um, nine thousand. And remember, guys, always every flight is different. Probably I can make this fly again, and probably I can go eight thousand meter and the drone really low. Every flight is different okay it's a big lag so let me took my hand off again because everything happened when i put my my hand in okay again he's close to 9000 he's still going but okay here we go nine thousand so I'm gonna turn around thanks to somebody that give me the tips sometimes when I go really really far I, I press the RTH and um, somebody they give you the tips they hey why you don't use the the button the RTH button in the RC and he was completely right I got the button there and I never use it you can saw me in some of my video, or mostly on my video that I'm going to distance fly when I reach 10,000 or 11,000 recently that I'm trying to go to, uh, to, to press the, the RTH in the screen and, and doesn't, it doesn't active and they took so much for, you know, active so and he, he was told me yesterday, so why you don't use the button? Just press the button and I long press. And he was right. I got the, the button right there. I never use it. But it is because I got so much time, you know, using the screen. And that was the reason. But he was right. Right now, I just press the, um, the RTH button and the RC. I long press. And that's it. That's pretty nice. Okay, I pushed night the, the battery was a little low when I reached 9000, but I keep pushing because I was facing the wind and now um the drone is helping the wind is helping the drone. So I hope in any moment the battery get in green like around 4000 or 4, 5000 meters. Let's see. I hope so because if not, okay, 9000. Okay, it's not bad, it's, it's good, but we are on the beach. There's nothing in the front, it's just the drone itself right there and the RC. And I don't understand why the signal is not better. That's the only thing, but 9000 is great, not bad. But you know, like, I think like we're gonna be in the beach, there is not, there is no antennas, there is nothing, no interference. There's nothing blocking the signal, so 
They got to be perfect. The signal. But 9000, you know, can't complain. Good range. Was better when I used it the first time. When I used the first time, the RC here was a complete disaster. And, you know, okay, I, I want a green battery for record a little bit. I would like to record a little bit. Like here. Okay. So everything looked good. Forty two percent battery and we are in um six thousand six hundred. We definitely got enough battery. So Okay. So now I'm going to try to go all the way there to that mountain right there. So, I got to careful because I got some antennas. I don't want to be close to the to the antennas. So, I don't know if I'm going to fly to left or a little right but i'm gonna try to go all the way to the mountain if you remember the video when i crashed when it was raining and i crashed the drone right there i make a flight and i, I think it was like six thousand meters and it was raining Okay, I just pressed the RTH, I turned around, I came back, and when the drone was there, basically here, it was raining and the RC was completely wet. It was the, R the RC and one, the other one. The drone was completely wet, and um, when the drone was right here, because the screen was with water, so the menu and everything, they start like, and the drone was right there and the drone was getting wet the drone was getting wet this is the um with the 11 um k video recently that was the second time the drone get wet so when the drone was right here and nothing just right here basically i make it back to here the drone was basically they start descending by self. I didn't did nothing. And I was nervous and the uh, was a, a lot of water in the screen and the menu and everything. It was like 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 crazy like pressing button. It was they looked like me I was pressing the button but no was the the whole water there I was trying to clean it and I crashed the drone. And uh, if you don't saw that video also is here if y'all remember i'm gonna put it right here on the top or in the link um i'm gonna put the link below I'm gonna put the two videos there is one when my nephew break my record 8000 right here but but that day was with the rcm1 and he reached 8000 and eight plus thousand so okay right now we got butter green that's good news and also I'm, I'm gonna post that video and i'm gonna post the one um then my nephew's one when he break the record and when i crash the drone right here the drone just basically boom they hit the they hit the stun this big stun they hit the stun and they took me like this is really close but this is like like the color is like gray and i be confused so they took me like 20 minutes to found the drone and um when i saw the drone the camera was really ugly the legs was i said oh my god i destroyed this this drone because the problem was the drone when they get close to the stone they start descending 
but if the drone starts descending and it's gonna land in the stone, it's perfect. But the thing is, he starts descending and the drone was in the uh, basically in the water. The drone was not in the stone yet. So I was trying to um, push the stick up and the drone, it doesn't go up. So the, I got no more option, the press forward and I hit the stone really heavy, but it was that or lost the drone in the water. So the drone was really ugly. The camera was really, I was, think, I was thinking the camera was broke and the legs are, and you know, when I saw that drone like that, almost cry man i'm almost cry but you know i just check it out i dry the drone they stop raining just like always here sometimes they rain three minutes and stop so so um i just check the drone I just turn around again and the drone, there's nothing happened to the drone. Was unbelievable. I'm being really, really, really lucky. Okay. Let me just stop the Okay, okay, we are less than 3,000 meters and 27% battery. Okay, not bad. That's enough battery to come back. Okay, that was a, that's why I'm recording. Guys, if you, if you think you don't have enough battery, don't record because you're gonna use more, more battery. Don't record. Okay, 2,300 meters. Wow, the beach today is like a plate, really flat. Okay, we got buttery low. They told me already the battery is low, but we got 24% and 2,900 meter left. So that's enough battery. The battery is not green, but that's enough. <coughs> okay, so 1700 so now i'm just getting ready because i'm going all the way there i'm gonna try to reach at least 9 10 or 11,000. let's see what happened because that that side is really interesting man <laughs> in one of my um my recent videos i go to to that side um, from the from the roof of, of my house but I don't going to that side I'm going to other side in the mountains I'm really scary always going to the mountains because it's not the same like you know if, if something happened and I gotta land over the over there it's gonna be really tough and really hard to find the drone because that's really far to going there to the mountain it's really far we don't have like 
a single street that you can go from here to there. There's not a six. You gotta go use other routes and going a little bit by a little bit and they took a lot. So, okay, 800 meters. But the winds today is pretty good. It's not, um, I'm gonna put it also at the beginning of the, of the video. I'm gonna put the wind and everything. Okay, because some people they want us, they want me to put that in the video. So probably I'm gonna start posting more stuff about the flight and the video. That's why I, I just say guys, any idea that you have, let me know in the comment. Okay. Here we go. He made it. Okay. 200 meters. All right, guys, like Rocky Balboa in, stop, in top of the mountain. Here we go. Okay. And the recent days, also, I'm going to fly to another country. Where's the drone? <laughs> I can't see the drone. Okay, it's right here. Okay. Say hi. His name is Survivor, so I put a Survivor. So, all right, guys, let me know in the comment what you think. If you got any idea, just let me know. And you like the name Survivor. I put that name because whatever they happen when I reach 11K. Okay, it's, get, it's getting a little windy. Check it out. All right, guys, see you in the next one.